वेलकम यू ऑल अगेन टुडे वी हैव अ टॉपिक रिलेटेड विद द नॉइज एंड एनालॉग कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम एज वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन आर प्रीवियस लेक्चर अबाउट द नॉइज एंड इट्स इंपॉर्टेंस एंड व्हाई इट इज नेसेसरी टू जस्ट टेक केयर अबाउट द नॉइज इन अ कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम अमंग ऑल दीज थिंग्स द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट अ काइंड ऑफ अ फिगर विच इज टू बी टेक इन केयर इन टू द कंसिडरेशन वेल वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द कम्युनिकेशन बिटवीन द टू थिंग्स बिटवीन द टू सिस्टम्स is what snr this snr is called as signal to noise ratio the snr calculation is very much important and very very extremely crucial to find it out before having a proper snr value of a medium or a channel it is not suggested to start a communication so the communication setup has to go first to the snr the snr known as signal to noise ratio it means it gives you a value the value of signal with respect to the noise it gives you the particular threshold over which particular signal is capable to be transmitted or not or if it is being transmitted then is this signal is really acceptable at the receiver or not so that the information may not be lost it is but obvious when we are transmitting one signal from one source to another source surely the noise insertion may be there we are making a system secure we are trying to remove the interferences but even there is a chance and what type of that noise comes up that we have already talked about in our previous videos here in this section we have a target how we can find out this snr in a particular communication system so talking about the snr so first of all the snr is defined as signal to noise ratio signal to noise ratio is the ratio of a signal power to noise power the higher the value of snr the greater will be the quality of the received output exactly that as i already told to you higher the value of snr it means it is signal to noise ratio if you are having a more value of the signal to noise ratio obviously you have a more signal power as compared to the noise power but always increasing the signal power is is it good but definitely makes a system if less efficient because requiring of much power to transmit a particular signal is wastage of energy so we have to take care about this also so let's move on signal to noise ratio at a different point can be calculated using the following formula first of all input snr is suppose you are looking to find out the input snr it means you are having a system and during this transmission system certain input is provided and it might be possible from one source input is given to the communication system and during that particular duration that some sort of the noise may come up and when this noise come then that may create disturbances so at the input side we have to find out what is the input snr so looking for this input snr this can be calculated as average power of modulating signal divided by the average power of noise at input so average power of modulating signal the signal which is going to be modulated modulating signal it means here we have a masses signal the masses signal is called as a modulating signal second average power of noise at the input and whatever the noise is there we try to find out whatever the input power is there of noise that has to be calculated calculate these two value and find out the input snr so first of all we have to take care about the threshold value of this snr it should be fixed on looking to find out the snr output for those where we are having the outputs so average power of demodulated signal suppose we have a communication system and during that communication say we have a some way transmitter and other way is the receiver from the transmitter side we have a masses signal first it's a first information source signal which has to be transmitted when the signal comes up during that period the signal first modulated so that's why we are finding the input snr at that point then it is being transmitted to the free medium and during that medium that there may be a chance that noise may be inserted what happens when it comes to the receiver it is demodulated again and at the demodulated output it means the original message signal is coming back on the receiver again take care about that again we have same masses signal after demodulating and during that time we have to find out what is the noise comes at the output so this give you the snr at the output side so i hope so it is most important to understand that we are finding out the here snr snr has to be calculated first at the input side as well as this snr has to be calculated at the output side so well so that all the effect and all the interferences may be determined and we must know that whether our channel is efficient to transmit our signal 
valuably or recognizably it means it can be recognized easily it should not use so much power to transmit a signal and it should not be lose its power so that the information may be lost this is basically a criteria to understand that now in the same sequence the third category comes which is a channel who is also very much responsible so where we have a chance of a noise noise may be at the input side it means we have a transmitter system and we have already talked about during the trans uh, at the transmitter we may have a number of options external and internal noises are there self movement of the electrons heating thermal noise shortening that all are the causes at the transmitter side similarly the same kind of a device action will be there and internal noises may be created that internal or external noises may also be there at the input and output it means to the transmitter and receiver third most important thing is what channel channel snr is also important to take in care because where we are transmitting we are we are putting our information whether it is really trustworthy or not we may have a trust on it or not that's important to understand so the channel snr is also required to calculate so that we can understand ki if suppose we have some signal after having a certain snr at the input the same output condition has been calculated and when it is to be put on a channel so what the channel will create so suppose snr at the transmitter is very perfect snr at the output side is very perfect both the devices are working so nicely but suppose that medium is not very proper it means you can take an example suppose that i am talking to you this voice is very much clear and the sound is created very nicely and the you people are definitely understanding you are ha having a good hearing aids and because of that you are really able to understand that but what happens the medium we are using the medium is what the internet connection the medium we are using we are using the youtube channel so the medium you are using that medium may create a disturbance and during that creation of the noise any interference or some interference come outside while i'm just talking to you while i'm just making a video to you some interference some noises come out that may disturb the signal so this channel snr is extremely important to understand so this can be calculated average power of the modulated signal now the signal has been modulated it means it is on carrier initially at the input it is modulating signal actually message signal modulated signal it means now it is superimposed with the carrier average power of the noise in the message bandwidth and whatever the whatever the channel bandwidth is there during that what kind of a noise has been created because of this channel so almost all these things are very much clear so taking care about the input snr output snr and channel snr during same sequence if suppose we find out the value of snrs input and output now there is a very specific terminology comes which is called as a figure of merit this figure of merit is required to be calculated how it can be calculated a very simple formula which shows you f equals to snr output snr at input can be calculated easily this figure of merit is called as the device performance and it is important so that we understand whether our devices are working or not properly so this ratio according to you what should be this ratio this ratio should be as good as possible similarly the same receiver snr can also be calculated figure of merit we have a figure of merit of the output and we have the figure of merit of channel if suppose we are finding out the snr and snr of output as well as the snr of channel then getting this ratio will called as a figure of merit of receiver so it is so because for a receiver the channel is the input so actually input and output both are the devices so we are checking here the device performance and here we are checking the receiver performance because the receiver is taking some out input and that is coming to the output let's discuss a very small idea about how and basically a snr can be calculated within a amplitude modulated system so let's we have a basic idea st is basically modulated signal and here some noise is being inserted band pass filter is used so that the signal come out and amd modulator will give you the value of dg actually what happens the signal comes and the noise comes if suppose you are using a band pass filter you know the carrier frequency is fixed up it has a certain frequency and some different frequency is being added up that different frequency is nothing but what this the frequency is basically a noise that is segregated out signal is segregated out and signal is calculated rest of we getting the value of a noise as 
सो वी हैव दिस सपोज एस टी इज ए सी वन प्लस के एम टी कॉस टू बाई एस टी दिस इज बेसिकली ए एम एम्पलीट्यूड एम्पलीट्यूड मॉडुलेटेड वेव इक्वेशन एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस वेव इक्वेशन वी आर एक्सपैंडिंग दिस वन एक्सपैंडिंग इन ट्राइंग टू फाइंड आउट द पावर हेयर वी नो द पावर कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड विद द ए सी इट मीन्स आर एम एस वैल्यू ऑफ दिस ए सी अपॉन रूट टू होल स्क्वायर फॉर दिस एम्पलीट्यूड एंड सॉल्व इन दिस आउट दिस हैज वी हैव ऑलरेडी टेकन केयर इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज दिस इज द वे ऑफ टू फाइंड आउट द पावर सो दिस इज वॉट अ सिग्नल पावर एवरेज पावर ऑफ द नॉइस इन द मैसेज बैंडविथ इट कैन बी कैलकुलेट विद द पी एन सी डब्ल्यू एंड नॉट डब्ल्यू इज बेसिकली आर विंडो विंडो फंक्शन इज टू बी टेकन केयर हेयर सो दिस इज बेसिकली द विंडो विच इज बींग क्रिएटेड बाई द चैनल एंड एंड नॉट इज बेसिकली इट्स पावर सो अल्टीमेटली दिस पी एन सी कैन बी डिटरमाइन विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस डब्ल्यू एंड नॉट दिस इज अ प्री डिफाइंड वैल्यूज ऑफ द सिस्टम कैरेक्टरिस्टिक दट कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड सो पी एन सी वी है पी एस सी है नाउ वी आर वी आर लुकिंग वी आर लुकिंग टू फाइंड आउट एस एन आर सो एस एन आर कैन बी कैलकुलेट विद द हेल्प ऑफ फॉर्मुला डिवाइडिंग ऑन पी एस ऑन पी एन सी सो हे वी आर हैविंग द सेम वन डिवाइडिंग ऑल दीज टू वैल्यूज एंड डिवाइडिंग एंड सिंप्लीफाइंग दिस वैल्यू वन कैन इजिली फाइंड आउट द एस एन आर फॉर द ए एम सिग्नल सो दिस फॉर्मुला वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट इफ यू आर ट्राइंग टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ एस एन आर इन द केस ऑफ द ए एम सिग्नल सिमिलरली दैट कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड फॉर द डिफरेंट डिपेंडिंग अपॉन योर रिक्वायरमेंट एंड आस्पेक्ट्स आई होप सो In this video, you would be really able to understand the value of the SNR signal-to-noise ratio and how it can be calculated. What are the categories where we have to calculate and why we are trying to calculate it. Ultimately, it is very simple. You need to find out only one thing, which is what the power of your signal. What exactly your power? And second thing is that what is the power of average power of noise? Because the power of noise is not not always constant. It changes. It varies from high to low, low to high. During that. During that, you need to just find out only what is the average of this. So this is this can be calculated. This can be measured on. So find out this all and get the value of your SNR. So SNR should be as high as possible. So we have to take in care about the signal noise only that so that our system remains efficient. It's a very simple example. Giving lot of power to our signal is obviously so good for the transmission, but at the same time it is not cost effective. So we have to give power to the signal only that much which is required for effective trans transmission, so that the SNR remains maintained. Well, thank you very much. I hope so. You might be liking this video, and as well as if you have further any confusion, anything which is related with this, you may ask the questions to me in the comment box as well as you may contact me. Hope so. Thank you very much. Bye bye.